Hello, fellow YouTubers. Um. Hello, fellow YouTubers and bronies and Pegasisters. Welcome back to uh, My Little Pony Wednesdays with Larry. <laughs> uh, um. Well, um. What we're gonna be uh, talking about today is gonna be about my review of. Of Equestria Girls, um, of Equestria Girls, um, The Forgotten Friendship, but before I do anything else, I'm gonna ramble a little bit, um, um, I was, uh, talking to my, uh, Wilco class, um, if you guys don't know what Wilco is, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, co a career, a an a a career edu uh it's a career educational um educational uh center center it teaches how you, it teaches you how to uh do the jobs um do do the jobs like um mostly like actual careers like um um being a teacher being a lawyer, or being a, a scientist, or being a, uh, being a firefighter, being a police officer, or being in the military, or, um, uh, being the paramedics, being a mo um, an auto mechanic, or being a construction worker, or being a welder. Um, the program I'm in right now, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing automotive. I uh work on cars for for a learning experience. Um so in my class, my uh my Wilco class, they um they uh do they do watch my videos and they do ask me they did ask me about wh who was my favorite pony. And I told them it was very hard because I basically like three ponies, but they told me which one I like most of all. So like most of all I like. Um the pony that I like most of all is Rainbow Dash. She's my all time favorite. Um and then um um because because well She's awesome. She's she's fast. She's f extremely loyal, very loyal. <laughs> and um well she's um and um and also um she's um a very uh a very uh motive i wouldn't i wouldn't say person a very motive pony <laughs> um but if i was talking about the equestria girls uh Raymond Dash, then yeah she would be a very motive person <laughs> so yeah um so um that's and um plus and plus she's um, and plus, she never leaves a friend behind. That's another thing I like about her, because, um, that's, um, what, um, that's what, um, that's what basically, um, what motivates me. I mean, I do get pretty loyal when it comes to my friends and family, so I could, uh, I could basically um connect with her in that in that in that way. <laughs> so yeah. Um but um my second favorite without a doubt is Applejack. I mean come on. Who doesn't like Applejack? She's adorable. And including with a hat. I mean come on. She's so adorable with a hat. Um so another another uh person in my local class asked me what kind, which pony I feel attracted to? I'm like, 
Uh, well, the pony that I feel attracted to is without a doubt Applejack. She's a she's so adorable, and she's very strong, <laughs> but mostly adorable. I mean, she's so adorable with that hat, with that cowgirl hat, and um, and um, plus, and plus. She's um very honest. Well, her 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 uh, element is the element of honesty. So come on. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. But she doesn't really give up that easily. She's she's just like Raymond Dash, but in a different color of. But in a little, but that's like a different color pony, and. She's not a Pegasus, she's an Earth Pony. And, um, well, um, she's, um, she's very hard headed at, at some times. But hey, but hey, she's hard headed. So what? Like, um, some, most, most guys are attracted to hard headed girls. <laughs> Sometimes. So, yeah, um, and um and with Applejack you cannot be afraid with Applejack you don't feel afraid to tell her your uh your feelings, your uh, your emotions, you know. She's basically kind of like the female version of Dr. Wolf. Um and if you don't know who Dr. Wolf is, he's a he's a brony, he's a analyst brony. Um, he does, um, he does a bunch of many, um, he does many bunch of different, uh, commentaries, including reading fan fictions, and, uh, he also do reviews with uh, My Little Pony and stuff, and also Equestria Girls, so, um, yeah, he, uh, he's very, uh, very, um, um talented with uh with um with um him uh talking to other bronies like a uh like a therapist that's what he's basically like in one of the in one of his uh series um he, I forgot what it's called but all I know in one of this one of these series, Doctor Wolf was a therapist. <laughs> so yeah, um, and um, yeah. So back to Applejack. Well, um, and and basically, she's basically not afraid of anything, but she does admit she does sometimes admit if she's scared or not, which makes her most braver of the most because because um well there's a thing like uh if you're if you're brave and you say you're not afraid of anything then you're technically not brave at all because because you're not telling the truth because you're afraid that someone will judge you about your fear um, me, I fear, I fear the dark, and all the tentacles, Ugh. I hate tentacles, they're so creepy, Ugh. but, um, yeah, um, so, um, yeah, um, and when it comes, and when it comes to, um, and when it comes to, um, her friends or Ponyville being in danger, Applejack is like basically always there to save the day. Well, I wouldn't say always there, but she's basically there most of the time to save the day. Um, like that one time the when the cows when the cattle started to started to uh, stampede towards um, towards Ponyville on Apple Day on Applejack's day off. 
on on the episode uh Applejack stays off. I forgot the number of the episode, but I do remember the the, the name of the episode. <laughs> so yeah, um, and she always I don't know how, but she always have lasso with her, and I don't even know where that lasso comes from. I mean, she's with with the lasso. It's just like with Pinkie Pie with her with her party cannon just popped out of nowhere. So. So I'm like, Abijack and Pinkie Pie must be cousins. They have to be related. I mean, they must. They have to be. If, if Abijack could get her lasso out from out of nowhere, and Pinkie Pie could get her party can out of nowhere, that's all the proof you need. There you go. That's all because they both basically have the same physics. In a way, in a way, they both have the same physics with uh, with taking things out of midair. Well, mostly Applejack's last soul, but yeah. Um, but um, but anything else, Applejack can't do what Pinkie Pie does because Pinkie Pie, she's a how can you say this? Um, a power pony. And no, I'm not talking about that comic book power pony whatever. I'm talking about her being like incapable of anything. I mean, she could morph her main into a drill. If you somehow damage her and the damage her, she could just resemble herself back back together from that one spot. And plus And plus when she gets angry <laughs> When she gets angry, that's when you should be most afraid of her the most. Wait, does that make sense? Yeah. Oh well, you you probably catch on. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Well, that's it with the with the pony with the pony universe. Uh, now let's go in the universe of uh, Requester Girls. Well, I did recently saw Requester Girls, the Forgotten. The Forgotten Friendship. Psst. The Forgotten Friendship. Psst. There you go. So, yeah. Um, that. 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 Um, I want to say episode. That movie. That short movie of them. Was so intense. I mean. It made me started to guess all around. Um, like, like in the beginning. In the beginning, um, of it, they started to sing a song about their, uh, about their, uh, rem their memory moments. About when Sunset Shimmer and the girls met each other, and when Sunset Shimmer became bad to good. Yeah, she was, she became bad to good. And, um... And also, they started showing other, other movies, the other Requested Girl movies, like the first Requested Girls, Requested Girls Rainbow Rocks, Requested Girls uh, Friendship Games, Requested Girls uh, um, Legend of Everfree. But it made me a little bit, um, it made me think. Okay, so you got, you got Requested Girl One. The the first one, then you got Rainbow Rocks, then you got, then you got Request Your uh, Girls uh, the Friendship Games, and then you got Request Your Girls the Legend of Everfree, but where's the other ones like, like Dance Magic, um, Movie Magic and and Mirror Magic? I mean, come on, you 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 have to put those two in there too. I mean, they're they were basically sewn on TV. They're not. You know, summertime sorts. <laughs> and by the way, summertime sorts. That was awesome. I like, I like, I like the digital series and the summertime sorts. It, it, it was awesome. So um, back to uh, the forgotten friendship. Um, um, and then when they started uh, getting more of the detail, there was this green hair girl, uh, clo uh, green clover uh, blush, I believe. Green clover brush, or blush, or brush, 
Hey, one of those two. Blush or brush? It's... Yeah. So, uh, brush... No, oh, yeah. No, I'm just gonna call it blush. Because that's basically how I can all remember. Um, she... I did not figure at all that she was the bad guy at first. But when, um... When I seen Sunset Shimmer bumping into her, and and they were talking, and Sunset Shimmer did not know who she was, and then the green, um, and then uh, Clover Blush started to feel upset because Sunset Sunset Shimmer never noticed her, and then I figured, okay, so she never noticed her. Then she turned off the lights without noticing that she was still in there and then locked the door. Ugh. But, um, but then after that, when everyone had gone to sleep, there was these red geodes going around. Then I started to think, huh, red geodes? Not a good sign. And I was right too, so when they got to the beach, Sunset Shimmer started to talk to her friends about uh, about their friendship uh, pictures, and her friends forgot all about Sunset Shimmer because, well, they lost their memory of her, and only memories they still had of her was her being mean and uh, grudgy. Mean and grudgy. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say grudgy, but mean. I'll just say. Oh, I can't say mean. Let's just say. Slightly back when Sunset Ship, back when Sunset Shimmer was slightly confused. There you go. Because I don't want to say mean or grudgy because she is my favorite request year girl. So I, I don't want, I don't want to, um, I don't want to get everything, you know. I do not want to uh, make her feel awful. Just making sure, <laughs> just making sure she's not behind me. <laughs> and no, and no, she's not gonna race. And no, she's not gonna jump out behind me because, because just like I said, I'm not an anime, I'm not an animator, or a artist, so <laughs> she's not gonna uh, appear next to me. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah um um so uh after that after that scenario sunset shimmer started sunset shimmer started to uh talk to uh twilight uh princess twilight sparkle from equestria to um to uh ask for guidance so she went into Requestria, talked to Twilight. She went to uh, Prince. Uh, yeah, she went to Princess Celestia's castle. They talked to each other, and they made up, which was awesome. Then, um, then they went to that <laughs> the forbidden chamber of the of the of the um, library. That was so funny seeing Twilight spazzing out. She was like just ah, ah, ah. and um and I was like just <laughs> I I admit I was I was laughing through the whole time thing. It was so it was that funny. That made me laugh. Um so um yeah then um Then um they found out that that a person used a uh a a um Requestian or an old Requestian relic known as the memory stone. And I'm starting to look at it and I kind of compared it with for some reason one of the stones from from Thor and and Asgard I don't ask me. I don't know. I I kind of compared it with those kind of stones, but it could be a, I could be wrong too. But I heard some of those stones are like 
space time space time and past future or something like that I don't know and um so um yeah they used uh this a person used a uh a memory stone to wipe to wipe uh to wipe the good sunset shimmer out of her friends out of out of her friends memories and I was like that ho 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 so um so I was talking to myself when I was when I was watching the the t when I was watching it I was like ho 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 you are so lucky that I'm not in that world because nobody I mean nobody messes with sunset shimmer nobody if I was there I would not show that person any mercy even if even if sunset shimmer tried to talk me out of it um because well actually I think I would show some mercy but would I yeah I would well I guess I would if I was ever in that world so I guess I would give him mercy at least at, one, at least one time because everyone does deserve a second chance I mean come on now um so um so when they um so when uh Sunset Chairman was walking in the school everyone was was avoiding her like the plague and I was like poor Sunset she feels alone then Trixie came out of nowhere then Sunset Shimmer and Trixie was about to fight each other, so I thought. But nope, Trixie grabbed a poster out of the locker saying some things about putting her in the yearbook saying the most powerful, the most powerfulest girl in the school, I guess. And I'm like, really, Trixie? Really? Really? So, um, after that, they, um, basically talked about what's going on then Sunset Shimmer and Trixie became friends. Now that made me jump up a little bit excitedly because because I don't know why it made me so excited with Trixie being friends with Sunset Shimmer. I mean I don't even like Trixie. I mean Trixie I don't even like her. I mean I know she uh she uh, got done with her past and her other things, but I just don't like her. She's too iffy, if you know if you know my drift. And um after that then after that, um Trixie and and uh Sunset Shimmer started to uh um team up and try to find the culprit. And then the culprit was no other um clover blush or green green co green clover br uh green green co clover blush or brush or blush or one of those two. <laughs> so um yeah when they um when they found it was her I I was like this do it sunset punch her Punch her, kick her, pull her hair, do something, or, or have Trixie go in front of you and stop you. Whatever works for you. I'm not gonna force you to be mean, Sunset. I mean, I won't even force her to be mean. Period. I mean, she's a very good character, and um, she's basically my favorite request your girl. So yeah. So um. After that, um, at the end, at the end of the, basically close to the end, the, um, the green, green, green clover blush tried to make her way out, but Sunset Shimmer stopped her. Then green clover blush was going to try to, uh, drain out the whole, all of the memories of the girl, you know. Abjack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Weirdy, Twilight, and Rainbow Dash. Wait, Abjack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Weirdy, Twilight, 
yeah, Rainbow Dash. Their uh, their memories of the whole entire uh, school year, I and mean, the whole entire high school years. And I was like, oh, you you wouldn't dare. Then uh, Sunset Shimmer tried to stop her, but then she started doing that beaming thing thingy with her uh, with her um, memory stone. Then Sunset Shimmer jumped in front of the girls to stop the beam from hitting them. So they hit Sunset Shimmer. Then Sunset Shimmer started to spaz out and started having those memory thingies go out of her mind. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, if I was in there, I, uh, I would have just gah. You know, <laughs> then um, after that, the the girls, the other the girls, um, saw Sunset Shimmer he heroically save their lives, and then they helped Sunset Shimmer to take down Green Clover, Blush, and the Memory Stone was broken in half. Well, yeah, broken into pieces, and everyone got their memories back. Then, then Sunset Shimmer gave, gave, um, Green Clover Blush mercy, and reason why is that is because she's the element of forgiveness and the element of mercy. So, basically, Sunset Shimmer, element of mercy, and element of, of forgiveness combined. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Basically, that's, was... A really good, good uh, request your girl five movie, I guess. Request your girl five movie, fifth movie, I guess. It was, it, I like it. It was so intense. It made me make predictions. It also made me made me uh, see why I like. Even made me see why I like Sunset Shimmer more than the other girls. I mean, don't get me wrong, Abjack and Rainbow Dash are still my girls. It's just in the Requestria realm with the pony side, you know, in the po in the pony realm, yeah, Abjack and Rainbow Dash and Twilight are my girls, but in request in Requestria girls, Sunset Shimmer is the top is all the way on the top. Of my favorite list. She's. She heroically saved her friends. Without a doubt. I mean. That's true friendship right there. And her true character. I mean. That's what made me like her even more. I mean. Wow. So uh, yeah. Yeah. That's basically my review of Request Your Girl's Forgotten Friendship. And, um. And, um, yeah. So, uh. So, stay tuned for. For another one of. Uh, my Little Pony Wednesdays with Larry. So, stay tuned. So, stay tuned. I'll see you uh I'll see you guys next Wednesday for another one of Larry of of my little pony Wednesdays with Larry. <laughs> so um if you like this video please put a like. If you have any concerns or questions, just comment down there below. And if you uh want to see more of my videos in the future, please subscribe. This is Larry and I'm out. <laughs>